Most people in America are looking for how do I make magic in my life happen? Well, one of the ways you can do that is make a life plan or a marketing strategy for your profession. To do that, you want to think about what is the spirit of your company. Now, when I do that in the business realm, I'm actually looking at the corporate culture of a company and what their actual mission, vision, and values are and what they're trying to achieve performance and productivity wise. But when we're talking about our own individual lives, we have to look at who the people are that are our strategic alliances, our profitable partnerships, and openly the people that we allow to mentor us and those people that we mentor. You see, the person that taught me how to work a pendulum and wield one is one of the most incredible women I've ever met in my life. And then I, in turn, turned around and taught another woman who became the other incredible woman in my life. And that's the truth. I met them both through unique situations that are private to us. But the truth is, in life, we have other people we meet all throughout our life. The question is, do they understand the boundaries of their lives, and do they understand the social etiquette appropriate for their position that is a part of our momentary life? You see, I may travel every single day to the same shop, and it's true, I do. I actually shop at one particular store practically three, sometimes five times a day, depending on how hungry I am and what I need for my work. But openly, I've chosen them to place my discretionary dollars into. Now, some of it's not discretionary because we all have to eat, and that's a standard expenditure of most people. But when we're talking about finding the angels around us, that's something else entirely. You see, finding the angels around us not only include the people in our lives that are acting as angels and helpful towards our goals and our desires and our dreams and the philosophy that we hold most dear to our family or our faith and our values, but we're also looking for the actual angels of the Lord's house that know what to do, when to do it, how to do it, how soon to do it, and how not to do it. The hard part for most people is how do I submit? How do I really believe that there's a God out there? How do I really understand who God is today for me? And how do I pick the right choice of religion or philosophy or faith or spirituality that's right for me? In my book, Practical Pendulum, I actually have charts available for people to sort of plot out their life and get the help of who's in their life right now and who's not and openly how to do that. I also teach people how to make proper choices for their life and you'd be surprised how magical Jesus can still be for you if that is your predilection, if you're a Christian-oriented person or a Wiccan who knows that Christ existed. But the truth is that in life, what you choose for your faith, your philosophy, that vision, mission, and values for the full spectrum of your life and your prosperity, your performance, and your productivity that creates your full life from birth basically through to death, that's up to you. But the best way to do that is with a faith as your foundation and then allowing the angels around you to help you.